The chemical ascent of 3i Atlas isn't just a clue about its birth, it's a terrifying clue about the violence of its eviction. And this really raises the ultimate question. Can we track 3i Atlas back to its own home star? So the short answer is no, not to a specific star, because 3i Atlas is moving at a record velocity and it's subject to the gravitational tugs of countless passing stars. But we can track its galactic identity, and that is where the story of 3i Atlas becomes truly ancient. Now, astronomers have actually used data from the Gaia space mission, and this actually maps the 3D movement of over a billion stars to rewind 3i Atlas's journey. That is wild. Tracing its path backward, a study found that none of the nearby stars it encountered in the last few million years could account for its current high speed. It didn't originate from our recent stellar neighborhood, if that makes sense. Instead, its velocity and the shallow angle of its trajectory hints at an origin in the galaxy's most ancient structures, what they call the thick disk. The thin disk is where our young sun is. The thick disk is a diffuse layer of stars that generally are older and poorer in heavy elements like the carbon chains that are missing from 3i Atlas. The galactic dynamics suggest it comes from an ancient metal poor environment. The chemistry, the high CO2 and the lack of carbon chains suggests the exact same thing actually. So if 3i Atlas originated from that thick disk population, could be up to 10 billion years old. Now think about that. This tiny frozen relic whipping through our skies right now was formed in a star system that existed billions of years before our sun was even formed. 